Hey you guys, and welcome back to a new episode of Sly 2 Banded Thieves. In this episode, we're going to do the Lumberjack game. Hold on. The Operation Canadian Games, or the Lumberjack Games, basically, and everything. So let's start the mission. And this is the operation in this area, so we should be done pretty soon. Hey guys, let's head down there and win those talents from Jean Bissot. Sly, try to keep a low profile when we get close. We don't want him to recognize you. How? Like, we're not even in disguises. Like, how would he not recognize any of us? Like, it does not make any sense. Because we're not even in costumes or anything. <laughs> it's so weird. You would think that guy would recognize us. Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack games. Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play, so long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll, uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. Let's do this! will be a power chopping contest. Not like anyone's ever gonna beat my record. Gotta love this mission so much. Oh boy. Maybe we just had clap in the middle. Come on, can we do this on our first try? That'd be awesome if we can do the, this on our first try. That'd be pretty great. Yeah, we did. Ten for ten. Ten. destroy that log without even breaking a sweat. Yeah, good job, Murray. I just love this mission so much. Okay, Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on Basan. And the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe timing. And look at those judges. Oh boy! Better watch out for the eagles though. Come on. Ah! Man, nope. I don't have the... This, this, part's, this part's the hardest though, like trying to dodge the eagles. Come on. Yes! Perfect timing. Yes! Cause it's a, it is a time limit though, so we had to watch we do have to watch out. It's looks like we got plenty of time. Or not. Come on! I see boys. Oh, we we did we did good on timing. They they, they give us they gave us plenty of time. <laughs> Ooh, he almost got there. Ha! <laughs> zero, zero, zero. <laughs> what? I think you better rethink them scores, boys. What you intended to give me was perfect tens, right? And they said that we're cheating. He's cheating, basically, as well. <laughs> Oh boy. Better make sure we climb up in time now. Come on! Hurry! Man, yes. So quick we can do this. Oh, we're good, we're good. <laughs> we definitely made it in time. 10, 10, and 10. Now, watch and learn as I demonstrate the art of power climbing. Alright, now we just have to you know. Use those grapples to hook onto Bison. You will need to hook it with all three lines to pull him off the wall. We're gonna be hurry though, because he goes. This guy goes like quick as a monster. Oh, there's one, sweet. Oh! Hurry, 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 hurry. Jeez, look how we. Look how hard he is. Like, look how. Look, look how quick he does. Jesus Christ. There he goes! We did it! We did it! First try! Nice! We did this all first try! That's awesome! Ha ha ha! Keeps it deep because he didn't hear that bottom. Seems you have pulled the wrong cards again. Did I ever tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who mistakenly gave me a score other than 10? See, he's shooting too! Like, how is this fair? Like, what happened then? 
You, I've saved my best event for the last. The spinning log competition. Okay, looks easy enough. I just need to stay out of the water. Well, this 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 one's can be pretty tricky though. <laughs> it was like to stay in the middle, so I know which ones. Oh boy. That's basically how I do it right here. Boom, boom. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Wow, that's pretty great. Haha, <laughs> nice. Always like staying in the middle. I think we got it. Oh boy. Almost fell off there. Oh boy! I think we did it! Yep, we got 10! <laughs> nice! First try all the time, too. Watch how a skilled log roller does it. This is crazy. John bisson has got those judges so intimidated, there's no way he can lose. Those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Genius! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judges' table. Why? You can use the alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave. That's a great plan, Sly, but you'll have to move fast. Once John Bisson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up. I love how it just I love how it's just the gadget as we just disguise Now we actually disguise as the guards, that's pretty great. I got that gold too, dang. Which one's the which, which one's the button again? Oh we don't have anything, okay, let's do let's do R2. Let's do R2. Man, that what that one guard has gold though. God dang. Oh, that's, oh, the good one. Come on. Come on! Ah, oh, come on! There you go! <laughs> that guard was not going! Ha! Look at it, look at it! <laughs> it's pretty great. Come on! Guard, come on! Come on, guard! Come on! Jesus Christ! There you go! There's a second one! Sweet! <laughs> that one has gold. Let's see if we can get- let's see if we can get- this guy has a, has half, so... Let's see if we can like, how could we store them? <laughs> I'm pick marking this guy too. <laughs> Whee! I think we can't just. Oh boy. All right, now now we had to hurry though. Now we had to hurry. It looks like it seems like it gives us plenty of time though. So. Oh boy. We did it! Nice! Even had time for pickpocketing that one guard. <laughs> Look at them! <laughs> Look hilarious! <laughs> zoo! Zoo! And Zoo! Are you out? Shrek out! How do you recognize us during then, but not when we first met him? <laughs> Dude, oh, don't get that. Those talons really pack a punch. Sly, Murray, wake up! Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. Where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bisson must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. 
Looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Oh, I. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. Basically playing as Bentley right now. Yeah. It's actually a boss fight, too. <laughs> I heard the fall. Holy pie! Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Well, now, Candy Bridges, I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were unconscious, me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talents. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it! Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really stupid. are. Stupid! On my command! I hear ya. Prepare yourself, Missad! Out on guard! Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushing. Walnut! I'm trying to think. Logs for circle. Oh boy! I didn't mean to do that. All right, I had to remember how to do this. Basically, this is boss fight with zombie son, baby. I think this is this one. Why? Right. Yep. Oh, but I like this mission. We can just smack him immediately. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Ha! <laughs> Suckers! <laughs> Logs. Logs. <laughs> this is actually a pretty fun mission, and now he's only done my ass. What the hell? Remember that. Oh, oh, well, I'm stupid. <laughs> tougher than you are clever. No, I'm just, I'm just, you know, falling for the your own traps <laughs> that I sent out. The circle, uh, circle. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> oh boy, we almost got hit by the fire. Oh boy. Fire! Let's get this government. <laughs> oh. Nice. Ooh. I watch out for the. Bam. Get the health. Get the health. Definitely get the health. Ha. <laughs> Just keep dropping it on him. <laughs> now throwing down right. Oh god. Oh boy. Ooh. Oh yeah? Oh, 
Ah! <laughs> I think we do it, yeah, I think we got it. Oh boy, yep, just one more hit. Oh, maybe one more. Oh, yeah, we got him. We got him. Nice. Tarnation. I've been done in by some four-eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, Braid's triumph over Broad. Yeah. But don't tell me that. Good job, little buddy. <laughs> that was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me. You did a great job opening that door, Murray. <laughs> Enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get on to that blimp. Silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move. Yeah, let's go to the Northern Light Battery. Let's see how fast we can do this. One! That blimp's on its way. Whoa, oh, gold medal. Nice, we can do this. Do this. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, look out! We're going far! We're flying! Oh, we're flying! It's just over there! BAM! Look how quick we went there! <laughs> oh, we definitely made it in time! <laughs> Whee! And now for the cutscene! So, Ashton, I'm probably gonna turn off my mic real quick and then be back! Once the cutscene ends, so I'll be back in a minute. See you when the cutscene's over with. As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light Battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that Jean Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. Oh, poor, poor, poor Murray. Man, poor Murray, but anyway, basically, basically what happened is Opisio has all the clock reports now and everything. Which kind of sucks because, you know, we worked the entire game collecting all the clock reports, but then, you know, this guy just, you know, sells all of them. Still from us and sells all, sells all of them to this guy, Opisio, and so like that. So in the next episode, we also start at Opisio's blimp and everything. So, anyway, that's been, been a wild episode and all that, but it's been a short episode, like I said. Last few episodes have been pretty long. I mean, last episode wasn't terribly long, but the episodes before that were. So it's nice to have a shorter episode. But anyway, in the next episode, we'll do all that in the final area of the game. See you next time. Well, I'm out. Bye-bye.